presidential hopeful Dr. Tony Tan said that he favours a Singaporean's first policy when it comes to higher education during his address at the Singapore Management University on Tuesday morning. I've been asked more than once whether I favour a Singaporean's first policy in higher education. And the simple answer is, I do. What I understand from this is that Singaporeans can be put first. Whatever initiatives we launch, we must always put the interests of Singaporeans and Singapore first. Dr. Tony Tan stressed that while he favours a Singaporean's first policy, it is not a policy which privileges Singaporeans only. Singaporeans first is different from saying Singaporeans only. Singapore is an international city and it would be a grave mistake to close our doors. While putting Singaporeans first, we should not make it too difficult for international talent to come to Singapore. Finding the right balance is not going to be easy, but we must try. At the Sim Kee Boon Institute of Public Lecture Series held here at SMU, Dr. Tony Tan in his lecture, titled The Futures of Higher Education, stressed the importance of universities like SMU staying open and flexible to cater to the changes in the global economy. We are witnessing unprecedented growth in developing countries, most notably China and India, with greater integration of these economies into the global economy. This puts increasing pressure on Singapore to maintain a highly skilled workforce that leads the region. Achieving this requires ability, but also flexibility, so that we can upgrade our skills or develop new skills entirely. Only by doing so can we stay ahead of our neighbours who have greater natural resources and larger manpower bases. For Singapore to stay competitive, Dr. Tony Tan said that the system of higher education needs to become more flexible. We need a system that is flexible and allows for a network of bridges and ladders that can link the various pathways. In the past, higher education has often been linear. Once it begin down one pathway, there was very little prospect of switching to another pathway. That is a very narrow view of education and a very limited view of human potential. And in the future, it will be untenable. Education, especially higher education, should offer a range of opportunities to all. People develop at different paces, and many will need or want to switch paths. Watch our other clips for the full lecture and the Q&A segment with Dr. Tony Tan.